everybody, welcome to twopairs.com. We're in the amazing Costa Rica at the Farm of Life, and today we have an incredible fruit called the jackfruit. Fresh and off the tree. Fresh off the tree. It weighs a ton, but it's a good way to get used to, you know, when your time <laughs> comes, a lot of things you can practice. <laughs> that, that's a big baby. Yeah, that is a big about baby. About 30 pounds. We got it Push from... that one out. Good luck with that. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> trust me, I'm, I'm nervous either way. This is our friends Al and Amanda. Amanda is hey. an amazing raw food chef, and Al is new to this lifestyle, came to the farm of life to turn his life around, and is in the process. Day four, right now? Something like that. How are you feeling? Feeling uh, better? Better. Feeling better? Better today, yes, it's, better today. That's good. It's a slow but steady process. The first but couple it, days were bumpy, but today is better. Okay, that's the way awesome. to do it. Nice. So Amanda's going to help us cut this amazing jackfruit and teach us how to do it because we've never done it. She's an absolute pro, so um, she'll get going and at some stage we'll give you some of the benefits of jackfruit as well. Amanda, all, right, all you. Let's take it. So first of all, jackfruit is one of like the most incredible fruits in the world, I'd have to say. Um, not only is it very high in carbohydrate, low in fat, but it's full of vitamins, different um, types of nutrients that are very essential for your health. But it is kind of a mess to cut. So if you're lucky enough to find one of them, then you want to make sure that you have some sort of oil, like a coconut oil and a plastic sheet or something to keep the latex from spreading around on all your good tools. So I put some coconut oil on this knife. And for everyone, if you guys want to grab a little bit of coconut oil, put it on your hands because it's going to be much easier to clean off the jackfruit afterwards. Okay, good tip, guys. Is it bold to put the pieces in? Or? Um, you're going to find that it's not necessary. Okay. Cool. So we have a beautiful, lovely jackfruit right here. And what we're going to do is cut right around the side because we're going to cut wedges for people. You would be surprised that a lot of this fruit actually is more of the pulpy fiber which you're not going to eat and this one looks incredible so i'm going to be good this looks like a good one i think you guys Let's just come up one of the trees here or? yeah we got this from our neighbor eric rivkin who's just across the valley he's another prominent raw food chef Joya del Sol. La Joya del Sol, yeah. Joya? Oh yeah. But anyway, he bought 100 acre, 180 acres right across the way, and uh, it's a beautiful property. It has a lot of fruit trees, very knowledgeable guy. Amanda, can we just get this little piece off so I can just show everyone yeah. while you carry on cutting? So this is the orangest jackfruit I've ever seen, actually, in my wow. life. Ah. Um, and mm -hmm. so this fruit, if you know what juicy fruit tastes like, that's what... Um, was modeled after. Yeah, basically. juicy fruit bubblegum got its flavor from this fruit. It's a pretty cool fact. And usually it's very yellow. This is an interesting Let's show them version. your inside like this. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Look how amazing that is. Wow. Yeah. So it's usually very yellow. Um, but what you want to eat are those pods, those pieces that have a big fleshy exterior, not the white latex that's surrounding but oh, this you fruit right there. Orange pods. Save okay. the seeds, you can boil them and they taste like mashed potatoes or you can plant wow. them and make more. Yeah. <laughs> El, trees. there's a piece of your jackfruit. First yeah. jackfruit experience? First ever. Same yeah. here, this is my first piece of fresh jackfruit. Please let everyone know mm. what you think. I like it. Mm. Oh it's wow. Cool. It's very rubbery. Mm. So this fruit guys, this is an incredible mm. superfood fruit. Not only does it taste incredible, but it's abundant in vitamin A and vitamin C, so this is gonna boost your immune system. It's gonna protect you from getting diseases of affluence, which come from poor nutrition, so. Um, diseases of affluence? Diseases right. of affluence. We're using big words in this kitchen. <laughs> affluence, Basically, but I wanna be affluent. It's gonna, okay, so the potassium in here is gonna help you regulate blood pressure. It's gonna help lower cholesterol. It's gonna keep you super energized because mm. you are getting um, mm. high carbohydrate, low fat, high, energy sugar fruit straight off the tree and, and I'd like to add one or two small things it also helps fight cancer it helps with wrinkles and um, we have men mentioned some of the benefits here but please do your own research look online because there are many many more benefits and because this thing is very very large if you don't have a huge family like we do at the moment to share it with you can always take these pieces freeze them and then have these amazing little nuggets in your bite, yeah, yeah. bite-sized popsicles you know like at any given time so yeah. um just, yeah, welcome to the jackfruit. And people. you might be thinking, hmm, I live in Chicago or I live in Portland, where do I get jackfruit? Check your local Asian market. You mm -hmm. might be able to find frozen jackfruit or even sometimes find the whole jackfruit itself. I know for you poker players out there in Vegas, they have some jackfruit in the uh, it, some of the Asian markets, so it, it is findable. And but, if you um, need, need any weights or anything, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can always find use for any, you know, more uses than just what, just what we've mentioned. Yeah. Hmm. 
And most, most importantly, I would say, in addition to all these benefits, eating raw fruits and vegetables, they are high vibe foods, high vibrational. They're living foods. Some, this was living just yesterday on the tree. So when you're eating stuff that's freshly picked, you're getting that vibration, that energy in your body. And I totally believe that that translates into how you live your life. Mm -hmm. And it makes much more sense to be it, eating living, more easily digestible foods than eating cooked dead foods and and my opinion that's what you become when you you are what you eat I mean it's very true so before we sign off um, if you want to find Amanda where can we find you go to bloomforlife.org and you can get tons of free recipes and uh, information on the same lines of this stuff so. and I'd just like to say that Amanda's also starting her own um, potential NGO yeah. or social <laughs> It's going to Tell be an uh, NGO that teaches sustainable living, holistic healing, and spiritual connectedness. She's going to India and to Africa to help the people directly, and hopefully our plan is to join her in Africa next year and do some amazing work with her. So please look into that as well, and if you feel as close, to, like as passionate about it as we do, and you want to help, you can always get hold of Amanda and find please out how to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. See you later. Mwah. Bye. Bye.